In building up your own e-tools, a useful analogy is that of a toolbox. How many tools you need in a toolbox? Well, it depends on how many challenges you have where you live. If there's nothing to do and you've got an handyman who comes around regularly, the answer is probably none. However, for us now working, uh, we have to use those tools that are going to increase the productivity of what we do, whether we're teaching or whether we're in other uh, areas of professional administration. So let's first of all be clear about what a tool is. It's, a, it's something that will help us perform an operation or achieving a goal. Like a screwdriver is pretty good for screwing um, uh, a screw in the wall. It's not going to be terribly good for cutting up a plank of wood. So um, in terms of e-tools, there's many different types as we know, many categories, we've got to use those that's going to be most useful for what we want to do in our work. Now, there's a lovely quote here by Bransford that to actually talk about teaching techniques and uh, teaching methods as we know, um, um, we often say, well, what's the best teaching method? Well, it all depends on what we want to teach. And it's exactly the same in carpentry, that the kind of tools that we're going to use depends on the tasking and So the big question that we've got to address and this is for any of us in that particular roles is what is the work challenge, the tasks in hand that we're trying to address? If we're trying to make our teaching more uh, efficient, um, then packaging it in a good content management system may be very useful for that. If we, if our problem is students are not talking in class and we might want to provide some other mechanism, then some online e-tool e that helps students to communicate, collaborate, provide feedback um, might well be the tool. Um, we all know that um, in doing administrative work, things like spreadsheets can be terribly useful. So that's the big question. What is the, the challenge that we're facing and what are the e-tools that when used based on um, sound principles of learning are going to help to reduce that challenge or maybe even get rid of it? So toolbox analogy, remember it, it's a useful one. How many tools? Well, build them up slowly in response to what you need.